are my sunshine in Clawhammer style. Uh, this is very much a spiritual successor to Jim Pankey's Learn to Play Cripple Creek uh, Clawhammer style for people that have already taken his Bluegrass version course, uh, which you can find on YouTube. There'll be links in the description. Anyway, we're going to do this in four passes. We're going to start by just hammering out the notes. Uh, then we're going to add the bum ditty that you often hear in claw hammer songs. Uh, we're going to add a few slides and finally we'll add some hammer-ons and pull-offs uh, to make it sound like you just heard. So let's just start it off by hammering out the notes. Uh, so you are my sunshine. This is just in the G chord. Fourth string, third string, second fret on the third string and then open second string. And now we go right back the way we came for the My Only Sunshine. Second fret on the third string, open second string, and then open third string twice. Now we're gonna go up for the You Make Me Happy. So open and then second fret on the third string, open second string. And now we're going to go into the C chord here, uh, and then second string and then first string. And now this bit is a little bit trickier, but as we go back down, uh, we're in the C chord and we hit the first string. And now open first string. Now C chord again, second string. And now open again, second string. And we have to do that a second time. So open third, second fret on third, open second, and then C chord, second, and first, and then first again, now open first, C chord second, open second, and then open third. Now second fret on the third, and now we're going to start the final part of the song. So that's going to be twice open on the second string. Now we're going to do the D7 chord. So that's first fret on the second string and second fret on the third string. And it's going to be second string and then third string twice. Now completely open again, second string and third string. So to recap, we're going to do the first part, which is... And now the middle part... And you play that twice. sunshine. So we're going to play through it and we're going to put little bum ditties on all of the long notes. Uh, and I like to strike the fourth string at the end of a measure, but not that loud, uh, just to accentuate and give some contrast uh, to the higher notes that you hear throughout the measures. Uh, so let's play through it. second pass. Let's do our third pass and we'll add some slides. So we're going to start by just putting the slides exactly where Jim Pankey puts them in his uh, bluegrass style. So I'll play through the opening for you real quick. It goes something like this. So that was 
was a slide on the third string from second to fourth, and a slide from on the fourth string from second to fifth. We'll do the same. We'll also throw in another slide uh, on the third string from second to fourth, just because it makes it sound a little more full. So the first part. So let's unpack that. Fourth string, third string, middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Now slide up on a strike. And we're gonna hold the finger down for the for the um, for the bum ditty. Now we can let go if we want to, but that strum just sounds better if you if you block out the um, this note. So Another slide here. And now for the slide on the fourth string, second to fifth. Middle part's gonna be all the same. slide towards the beginning of the third part. Right here, from second to fifth, uh, second to fourth. Now the rest is all the same. So let's play that all together. with uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs. So the first part, exactly the same. Now you're probably thinking the middle part sounded a little boring, so we'll spice it up with a hammer-on into the C chord. Hammer-on. And now pull-off from the first string with your ring finger. So note that I kept the rest of the C chord on there, just because the partial C chord on that bum ditty sounds better than if you completely take off and go back to the G chord. So that was. Now another pull off, this time with your index uh, on the from the first fret of the second string. Play it again. Now into the third part. We started with that slide, we're going to accentuate it with a pull off. Sorry, my pull off, I meant hammer on, right here. Now the rest is all the same. So putting that all together. Play it through pretty slowly, you can follow along. I'd love to hear about how you can turn this into a five-step process. Yeah, so the nice thing about this song is that you can kind of loop it so you can just keep playing and keep practicing and just have a great time.